All right, breaking news right now. Sacramento Metro firefighters on the scene of an overnight fire at an apartment building. Right, and we're learning that one person is in critical condition. Let's get to ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo. She's been following this since it started. Bridget, what's the situation looking like right now? Well, Bria, we are at the Montage Apartments in Citrus Heights, where an elderly woman who firefighters believe was sleeping at the time had to be pulled from the engulfed apartment she was living in. I want to show you what it looks like now. As you can see, the window has been blown out. Uh, there's a lot of charred debris and rubble inside that fire crews are working right now to clear. Uh, as fires do, they rise. So the heat from this fire went into the unit above. Uh, those residents had to be evacuated along with the adjacent ones as well. We're told the only injury to be reported is is that woman who lived on the bottom floor. She's currently at the hospital, but it was quite a lot of fire activity early this morning. It started as a first alarm fire, then went up to a second alarm fire just because there were so many people who could potentially be affected. So much risk here with apartments, a, a lot of challenges for fire crews. There were 10 engines that responded, six trucks, uh, not only SAC Metro crews, but also nearby Folsom Fire you're assisted with this as well. You're taking a look at some of the video of what they saw shortly after they put out the flames. Obviously, a big concern is to minimize any injury to the public, so they worked very quickly to get everyone out as quickly as possible. We spoke with a nearby resident who saw the flames as they happen, and they, he also tried to evacuate people. Take a listen. At 3.45 this morning, um, I heard a big boom um, and glass. I figured since cars right here on Fair Oaks run the, the stop sign all the time, I figured it was probably a car accident. Um, and I looked out the window and I saw uh, that apartment just, I mean, it was starting to go up in flames. Uh, I ran over there and by the time I got there, it was totally fully engulfed. very scary scene to wake up to. Now, luckily for Eddie, he lives in the building across the street. Fire crews were able to contain the fire to just this one building, but everyone who lives in it is now evacuated. They have to work through smoke damage and uh, the Red Cross is here to help them get temporary uh, living accommodations as crews uh, make this uh, safe enough to go back in. Right now, it's just not livable given all the smoke and the cause of the fire right now, Bria, under investigation. Yeah, definitely more cleanup to do, but glad that pretty much everyone is safe and hoping for the best for the woman who had to be rescued. Bridget, thank you.